Go to the Tools panel of Photoshop and select the Custom Shape tool or Rectangle, etc. and create a vector shape. Make certain it's up here, it's set to Shape. And you've got a fill there and a stroke, you can set them to whatever, and select the shape here. So with your shape created, what you can now do is go to the Pen tool. Go to the Pen tool and right at the bottom, Convert Point tool. So that's it, Convert Point tool. Now there's no settings, no features, no options, you can, nothing appears that you can do with that. However, what you can do, as you go over this shape, you can see these points. Now they're anchor points. You've got the anchor points around here. This one is a smooth point, because it's a curve, you've got a smooth point. Down here, you've got this one here, or this one, etc. They're all corner points, because there's no curve involved. There's no direction lines or direction points involved. However, with this tool, with the Convert Point tool, what you can do is you can go hover over there and then you can see it changes, the cursor changes, and you can click on that anchor point. At the moment, it's got some, you can't see them, but there are some direction lines. You click there, what happens? It removes it and converts it to a corner point, which is without, without those. You can see it's obviously modified because of this down here. These have also still got direction direction lines. And again, you can go down here if you want. You can see as you hover over there, the convert appears and you can click. And you can see again, you get the result, a nice corner point. Now, if you want to go over here, you can still use the convert to convert a corner point to a smooth, but it doesn't automatically generate a smooth point. What you do, just click and then drag. And as you drag out, you can see now you've got these direction lines and these direction points. This is what this is, far end. And they're both just exactly the same. You can obviously go to the angle, you can change the angle. Also, what you can do, you can hold the shift down. If you hold the shift key down, it will be constrained to 45 degrees, 90, etc., which you may want or maybe not. And you can just move that around. Now you can select that one and you can do it independently. Select that one independently. And again, you go down here, again with the convert, you can drag, drag out, and again, select that one, and you can independently move it from this one. And you can do that everywhere. So you just go over there, convert, click there again, and you can see what happens. It's just you've got that, and you can drag that out again. And again, you can see they're exactly the same length, but you can always go to the far end there and click on that one and just drag that out. Click on that one and drag and modify that. So you can create, and again, hold the shift down. If you want to constrain it, you can see it's constrained to 45 degrees. And again, with these ones, the corner points, you can click on there, and again, won't change, but you can just drag, so you drag out, and you can see your direction points and direction lines. And you can do that all over the place. Now there's unfortunately no feature to be able to convert all of it to corner points, and nor is there one to convert it all to smooth. It'd be really nice if there was, but there isn't that feature. Now, what you can also do, while you're hovering over there, you can see it becomes a convert. You can see the convert there, the cursor changes. You can hold down your command or control key on your keyboard, and as you do that, you'll see it becomes a direct selection point. Now, is that what you can do? You can select that individual point, or you can set multiple points. You can set multiple points, and you can drag and move them around. So you can use that tool at the same time. But as soon as you do that, you convert back, it becomes that. Unfortunately, the convert will only work with one point. You only the one that you actually click on. So as soon as you click on that, you can then manipulate it in all kinds of ways simply by doing that. And again, if you want to, click there, and again, it will turn it back to a corner point, and so on. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.